This mutation is called out of sight, and there are th two mutators active on minor evacuation. We have pure fire beam, and we have move, we move unseen. So um, not too bad. A uh, very very uh, straightforward uh, set of mutators. We have Kerrigan and Nova that will be attempting to deal with this mutation. Now uh, the one thing to note is that the pure fire beam is cloaked, so you do not see the big red bar that is walking across the map that is uh, killing your army. So you need to be paying a little bit of attention. The only thing is because uh, because the cloaked units have a um, they have they distort the uh, the ground beneath them. There's a little bit of uh, it's a refractive kind of thing. Uh, you can you will actually know if the pure fire beam is a little bit closer. But uh, overall, not uh, not a difficult set of mutators to deal with. Uh, having early game detection is really important. So for Kerrigan. Um, it can either be for Overseers or Naya Swarms, and uh, for Nova, just having Nova with the detection is uh, is very important and can uh, help a lot. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the production here. Again, very, very normal. Both players are macroing up. Very, uh, very straightforward gameplay here. And we're just going to be waiting for the first evacuation ship before uh, anything uh, interesting happens here. As you can see here, Nova has already started to get the detection upgrade. Getting that upgrade is uh, is very important, especially with this mutator set. Um, it should be the first upgrade you get for Nova, regardless. I think it's it's what I always do. I get the detection out. Just having no Nova is a really powerful hero unit, so just having that extra bit of detection is uh, is going to be very useful. And uh, he's also going for the regeneration upgrade, which uh, just makes Nova a little bit tankier. So we see here that Nova already has four marines out and they are ready to go. And Nova will be out as well in 30 seconds, as well as Kerrigan. And once those uh, hero units are out, they'll be able to defend the first ship uh, relatively easily without any problems. So uh, Kerrigan is uh, going for the Heroic Fortitude upgrade and one Naya Swarm. The Heroic Fortitude upgrade does give Kerrigan a lot of survivability and should be one of the first upgrades you again you get as Kerrigan. And that is the warning that the evacuation ship is about to launch, but they are waiting for the hero units to spawn. Um, Kerrigan will be relying on Nova's detection to start, but that Naya Swarm is also coming out. And uh, there we go. Can you handle the first ship solo? Is the question that is asked. Kerrigan is fine here without any. Uh, Kerrigan can actually deal with that also. Uh. So uh, it's not really necessary for uh, for Nova to handle that ship solo. Uh, but Kerrigan, I think, is going to be trying to go ahead and clear out the side as well. So there's a nice worm here just to provide a little bit of detection, and Kerrigan is going to start uh, cleaning away on. Uh, on this ship here, on, on this area. Uh, as you can see, the buildings are not cloaked, but these enemy units are. Garrigan Psionic Shift, or uh, as uh, has been uh, very, very uh, popularly known in my community, the slidey move, is um, is able to hit the cloaked units. So as long as, you're, you, know, as, long as you can you know, see where the little fuzziness that's going on, you can kind of see here, there's a unit here that's... Uh, uh, that's cloaked. You can actually use uh, Kerrigan's uh, psionic shift to uh, to clean out these uh, units without having that detection. Again, these units are not very very tanky, so um, very uh, very easy for Kerrigan to deal with. You can see over here, there's a lot of uh, units here that are just harassing Kerrigan, but again, psionic shift is not too uh, difficult. But that nice worm is also providing a little bit of vision. Nova uses the shotgun blast. Nova in shotgun mode is really really powerful. Um, switching between modes is uh, is critical if you want to have uh, optimal Nova gameplay. As you can see over here, allies switching over back and forth, just uh, taking advantage of that. Uh, that Moving Kerrigan's cleaning out this nice worms just to prevent some more enemies from spawning, and that is that. So you can see here, the uh, the pure fire beam is uh, is starting to eat away at this nice worm, and right now there's only one pure fire beam. But as the mission progresses, more pure fire beams will appear on the map. So I think they appear at I want to say 10 minutes and 20 minutes, but it could potentially be 15 and 20. I cannot remember exactly what the timings are for the extra pure fire beams. Go check out StarcraftUcloud.com slash mutators to see what the timings are uh, are there for the pure fire beam. We have a bunch of drones now that have popped out of the nice worm, and they are going to take care against the expansion. Kerrigan can actually solo defend this uh, this mission as soon as uh, she gets some of the lurkers out. You can see here, Kerrigan has already put down a bunch of nice worms, and these nice worms have one purpose: it's just to draw the fire of the pure fire beam and just keep 
the purifying beam away from the allied units and keep them away from the army. And that is what Kerrigan will also be doing in addition to uh, getting a bunch of hydralisks and lurkers, I believe, to, uh, to defend this ship. So, uh, no Hydralisk then out yet for Kerrigan. Kerrigan's still taking the expansion. Uh, the goal here, just get these nice ones out. Just draw away this Purifier Beam. Keep that away from the evacuation ship. And uh, the Purifier Beam will always try and aggro the closest allied unit or structure. So, uh, just make sure that you have no units nearby and that Purifier Beam will not be harassing you anytime soon. Nova has already started to push in here. She has a bunch of... Uh, of Hellbats to uh, clean up this, uh, these, uh, these infested units and uh, Kerrigan is away on this side as well and uh, Kerrigan just appears to be chilling Our on this side there is no expansion yet for Nova but uh, I think Nova has just started to put down the expansion right now a little bit delayed Nova can pre-build the expansion a little bit early and then just fly the command center over whenever she's ready but Kerrigan is focusing on some gas now it's gas income up and running and now we can see four nice worms are out for Kerrigan those nice ones are there just to, just to draw aggro and spirit fire beam. Kerrigan is ready now here. And uh, they are, the allied units are ready to go. The, the next uh, launch is going to be in, uh, in at least two minutes. There's a little bit of time before uh, you uh, you don't have to manually launch the ship a little bit early. But uh, Blightbringer is out now. And uh, these commanders are going to try and uh, deal with Blightbringer, I believe. Uh, Nova is intent on launching the ship. Nova's gonna start launching the ship. Kerrigan is gonna be uh, attacking Blightbringer. Again, Blightbringer is also cloaked. Every single enemy unit is cloaked here. And uh, you can see a bunch of nice worms here that are just being used. Keep that pure fire beam off that ship and keep the pure fire beam, more importantly, off the army because uh, dodging the pure fire beam when it's right on top of your face is not particularly fun to do. So there we go. So that ship has started to launch now, and uh, the infested has started to uh, push towards that ship. No one was able to solo defend here. She has a bunch of goliaths and uh, and uh, hellbats here. Hellbats are okay, but I think a much better choice here would have been just liberators, marines. Uh, siege tanks are actually a really good choice here as well for Nova. But down goes Whitebringer. Whitebringer has been destroyed, and he will no longer. Oh no, he's, he's still there. Now he's been destroyed. And that Gib animation is so cool. Somewhat gross, but also uh, very, very cool. And uh, there we go. Down goes Lightbringer, and now there are a bunch of uh, Banshees that are harassing this uh, this one Hellbat here. Fortunately, the Hellbat is there. So we can see a bunch of Siege Tanks here. The Lies, unfortunately, are not uh, focused firing down this Banshee, but Snipes come down from Nova, and then he's able to clean up that side. And now we have the second Purifier Beam. See, yeah, it was at 10 minutes. So that second Purifier Beam is going to start working its way towards this player's base. And uh, Kerrigan will have to go ahead and deal with that Purifier Beam to make sure it doesn't actually wipe out this uh, this entire expansion. Because, uh, yeah, that expansion is very vulnerable to Purifier Beam. Kerrigan is now in position. As you can see here, you can see the Purifier Beam is on this side. It's just not very visible. There's a nice worm that comes down. Again, just drawing aggro. And uh, these nice worms will be used to, uh, to just, just keep the units... Keep this purifier beam away, keep it busy. As long as the purifier beam is hitting something, it's it's happy, it's not going to try and do anything else. So uh, there you go, there's another purifier beam that's being handled by uh, Kerrigan's nice worms. And there's just a bunch more nice worms coming out here just to keep this stuff away. And uh, there's a hydralisk den as well, but... Oh, there's a hydralisk den, oh! So apparently there was a hydralisk den, I was just not looking at it, I was constantly looking at this side. So apparently I managed to hide my hydralisk den away from myself. Knowing that I'd be casting this game in the future. But yeah, so we have a bunch of Hydralisks now. Once these Hydralisks turn into Lurkers, um, Kerrigan will be able to solo defend any evacuation ship without any problems. That Pure Fire Beam has cleared out all these nice worms, so now Kerrigan has to go ahead and get Vision again. And then there we go. Pure Fire Beam is eating away Kerrigan. Kerrigan doesn't really care. And now we have two Pure Fire Beams that are kept busy with these two nice worms. And uh, now that evacuation ship is uh, pretty much ready to go. So, attack wave comes in, there's a mobilization wave that jumps in here. Kerrigan is unfortunately slightly out of range, but ends up cleaning up these liberators, and the liberators end up going down, and now Kerrigan has a lot of resources, ready to make some more hydralisks, ready to make some lurkers, and uh, obviously, more nice worms. As you can see here, lots of nice worms here, just to draw out, again, aggro of those pure fire beams. Kerrigan is chilling on this side now, and uh, I think she'll be making her way back on here. 
not using dinosaurs, unfortunately. As you can see here, Gergen getting stuck in the middle, jumps out of the way. Yes, the pure fire beam again. It's not gonna be, uh, the pure fire beam will not be, uh, entering this side here, as long as there are nice worms up. And, uh, this is gonna be a little bit challenging, because these enemy, these infested, are actually also attacking these nice worms. So, uh, Nova has already sieged up, already has a bunch of siege tanks and some spire mines as well to be able to handle this, uh, this uh, enemy wave here, so that'll be okay. Hybrid uh, hybrids have started to spawn, but again, there are a bunch of spire mines, and these uh, hybrids just instantly shred by whatever is there, as well as Nova in the front here. Now uh, there is another, um, there is an attack wave that is coming up towards that evacuation ship. I'm not sure whether anyone will be dealing with that, but uh, as far as this evacuation ship is concerned, it is uh, more or less safe. And we have a bunch of idols as well that are parked here. That uh, in case anything gets by, there we go. So that pure fire beam has managed to break through because uh, of this idol is inside to hide inside that nice worm, and uh, this evacuation ship is fine. There's no way the evacuation ship can go down, and uh, Kerrigan is making her way towards the side. Kerrigan unfortunately did not take that nice worm. That nice worm was up, and uh, Kerrigan could have actually uh, used that, but. Uh, there, there is an immobilization wave that gets cast, and the immobilization wave actually ends up one shotting these uh, these medevacs here, so that is okay. And Kerrigan is now good to go. It's gonna start pushing into this side. Again, banshees are there, and uh, now there's some detection, so uh, the detection is going to allow Kerrigan to start cleaning up this side. Um, and uh, yeah, let's have a look at the unit compositions here. Um, at the moment, there are only hydralisks for Kerrigan, which is. Uh, uh, somewhat inconvenient. Uh, having that lurker then, getting the getting the lurkers out is really really important. But there's a lot of multitasking that's required. Kerrigan needs to keep these nice worms up, and uh, as well as uh, make sure that she's able to clear the side. And uh, Nova is going to start dealing with these eradicators now. The eradicators are really really deadly. So two snipes come out instantly on this eradicator. The eradicator is shooting in the wrong direction, which is very convenient for Nova's army. But you kind of want to be careful that you don't get smoked by uh, by the grand eradicator. This, uh, this main eradicator is not really a problem, but yeah, you have to make sure you not one hit instantly hits Nova there, almost killing Nova, but uh, Nova's after that right area, as you can see there, Nova's actually now starting to focus on this one, and that, that right area ends up going down, last right area on this side, so right here we'll also end up getting cleared up relatively easily, a few casualties there for Nova, but uh, nothing too much, nothing that she can't handle. And these pure fire beams have been merged for the most part. So now you have a double pure fire beam walking around here. And again, this is one of the uh, things my Discord community likes to uh, remind me of. Merging the beams, because apparently I, I, it actually happened. I lost a mission of missed opportunities because I was trying to get two pure fire beams to merge together into one. And uh, I ended up throwing a mission because I was just hell bent on trying to get those two beams together. But uh, when you have pure fire beams like this, one thing that it can be very, very risky is the amount of damage output that these pure fire beams have. Because it's two in one now, you can see how quickly this nice one just gets completely melted. So uh, if you do intend on combining pure fire beams, just make sure that you are paying attention to uh, where they are because uh, they deal double damage and uh, as you can probably guess, double damage is uh, significantly higher than single damage. So there's another harass wave now that's coming up towards the ship, but both commanders are now ready and they are good to go. Um, one of the things that, uh, that when I was playing during this time is I was not aware that I should be building macro hatcheries for Kerrigan. So you can see I'm pulling a lot of resources. So uh, whenever you are playing Kerrigan, make sure that you uh, you build either macro hatcheries or you build queens. I personally prefer just macro hatcheries because you float a lot of minerals anyway, uh, and it'll allow you to just be able to uh, optimize your production and make sure that you have enough units out uh, to be able to push and constantly play aggressively. The last pure fire beam has been spawned now, and that pure fire beam is going to make its way towards here. It'll probably get aggro to this nice worm and then work its way down here, so we'll have three beams in one, and that is the ultimate merging of the beams. You can see here, Nova's pretty much got this completely under control. Lots of siege tanks, lots of spire mines, and we have also a bunch of lurkers. Two lurkers for Kerrigan right now, and uh, hopefully more to be added sometime soon. And Kerrigan decides to jump into the front here to just help uh, help her ally out. Those nice worms are uh, pretty much uh, going to be drawing all the aggro of these beams. So this uh, this uh, this evacuation ship is pretty much uh, held uh, without any uh, any problems here. A bunch of lurkers as well. Hydro, uh, hydralis 
are, I think, still in the nice world. Okay, there are just a few more lurkers right now. They've been converted. To, all the Hydralisks have been converted to lurkers just to be able to spread this site. And uh, you can see here tons of nice worms. Just to well aware that these purifier beams are going to be cleaning up these nice worms very quickly. So there are a ton of uh, ton of nice worms just being dropped here just to draw aggro away. And uh, yeah, more or less uh, straightforward right now from uh, from this point on. Just lurkers, tons of siege tanks, bunch of liberators siege up onto this army, but the Goliaths use a stun lock and uh, end up clearing out these liberators. And uh, yeah, dealing with shadow tank is not particularly fun, but lots of spire mines are down here, and any unit that comes in close to these lurkers just instantly get wrecked by the sh uh, by the uh, by the spire mines. And uh, yeah, more or less. That evacuation ship actually take, ends up taking no damage, and workers now are going to go to the next evacuation ship uh, spawn, and uh, Kerrigan will be pushing forward now. There's a little hollow decoy for Nova. That is probably the one ability that I have used the least amount of times in my entire co-op uh, in my entire co-op uh, career. I think I've used that ability a total of maybe five times in the last. 1,600 ascension levels or something. It is, uh, it is an ability I always forget to use. It is kind of useful. Uh, obviously not as useful as a nuke. It's just something I just I just forget to use. But uh, there we go. We have a bunch more nice worms that are coming out. You can see these beams are clearing out these nice worms so quickly. Kirkin's having a hard time just keeping up with uh, with the nice worm drops here. But uh, yeah, this uh, evacuation ship is uh, is ready to be launched. One nice worm comes out here just to be able to uh, provide Kerrigan, I think, with the mobility over here. And uh, there are a lot of Hydralisks here that are going to get aggroed by these units. But uh, Kerrigan jumps into the fray here. Another nice worm comes down just to provide some detection. Kerrigan doesn't really mind if she loses these drones to uh, this. These drones are the valuable ones, though, because those ones are the far are farming the gas. But again, Kerrigan is pulling a lot of resources anyway, but the gas drones are a little bit more important. And uh, I do not know where Ker Kerrigan died. I Kerrigan ended up dying there, which is somewhat unfortunate, uh, and these uh, units are going to end up cleaning up this side. This evacuation ship is being launched, and there are a lot of lurkers here, and they're good to go. There is a last set of uh, nice worms that get dropped here just to keep these, these these purifier beams away for the last few 60 seconds away, because these pure, these uh, these nice worms are not going to hold. Just keep them away temporarily until this ship launches, because this is the last evacuation ship. This uh, expansion has been completely decimated by Amon's army. And we'll see where these guys are going to go. A lot of cyclones here as well. Cyclones really annoying units, like a kite, the army, and uh, again, these uh, extractors are just are just going to be end up cleaning and cleaned out. And uh, there are 35 seconds on this clock, so uh, we should be more or less okay. And the mobilization wave comes down, instantly one shotting a lot of the units on this side. And Kerrigan's just going to clean up whatever the, whatever the stack wave has now to offer. Unfortunately, the uh, Nice one are going down, but there we go. Another one comes up now, and uh, those liberators will end up getting cleaned up. And that attack wave has been uh, pretty much held, except for the cyclone, which decides to try and poke Kerrigan. Kerrigan's having none of that, and uh, that cyclone ends up going down, and that is that last evacuation ship uh, launched and safe. And uh, not a moment too soon because that pure fire beam is right over here, and that is GG.